Well guys, I've been playing a lot of games lately, but I haven't been uploading them. I'm here to say now that this video is designed to right that wrong. I will admit it, I couldn't really put up gameplay for a lot of the games I was playing, but I can definitely show you this game. Created by the ragtag team of EA and DICE, and yes this game does involve guns, of course, I present to you Mirror's Edge. Now you may have heard of Mirror's Edge recently in the news because its big sister and second instalment to the series is set to be released soon. So as a public service, I'm here to give you my impressions of the first one just in case noobs to the series are thinking about buying the first one to prepare for the second. I have finished the game and feel confident enough to give it a look on the channel. I'm going to cut straight to the chase, so to speak, and say that Mirror's Edge is a parkour game through and through. Don't get me wrong, it is trying to be something more, absolutely but it doesn't do anything near as good as its parkour system. Hell, that's what makes the main character any different from you and me. She is extremely proficient at parkour. Everything else in the game, whether it's hand-to-hand -hand combat, gun combat, or, well, that's really every aspect of the game. <laughs> anyway, all of it is really bad. Now, when I say that the parkour was done the best, I want to stress that it does seem a bit clunky, but I think that is part of the game's big problem, because to expert Mirror's Edge players, it probably doesn't seem that way. This game's biggest problem is the one thing that I mentioned on my social media immediately after finishing the game, and that is that the game is extremely hard. The game doesn't hold your hand at all, and as a result, I got pretty heavily puzzled by the puzzles that the game gives you. I found some of the parkour nearly impossible to do, but at the same time, I got the game finished. I did. However, I had to leave the game in frustration a couple of times. I was probably expecting a more badassery simulator experience, and that's not what I got, so avoid making my mistake and know that this game is a hard one. Now of course, this mightn't be a negative for you. And to you I say, use the slow-mo ability when you really need it, go for disarms, use the direction button to stay on course, and prepare for multiple restarts. Oh, that's another thing, there's no restart to checkpoint choice in the main menu, and that pissed me off, because sometimes I would be stuck, unable to die and restart, and I would have to quit all the way back to the main menu and reload the save. Now because the game is so hard, it can definitely shine like the brightest star when you nail a section perfectly, or get the perfect disarm without using slow-mo, or escape just in time with no health to spare. These are the times that I enjoyed Mirror's Edge the most. It's a hard game to learn, and even harder to master, but when you do, it's a blissful experience. It's also worth mentioning two things. You can see the options menu is nothing fancy on the PC version, and that the game is fairly short. HowLongToBeat.com puts the main story in at 6 hours, and it felt like that. If you were a completionist, you can get 12 hours, but I got that just going through the main story of The Walking Dead Season 1 by Telltale. By the way, you guys should all play The Walking Dead by Telltale. The gameplay is clunky and bad, but the story is too good to miss. Buy all the episodes together and thank me later. So now, back to Mirror's Edge. This game has a brilliant idea that hasn't properly been explored with any AAA titles recently. However, its execution is unimpressive and not as user-friendly as it could have been. I honestly think that another Mirror's Edge is a godsend, because all the first game needed was some refinements to make it smoother and some of the secondary mechanics to be redone. I would skip the first Mirror's Edge for two reasons. First, the second Mirror's Edge is very likely to fix all of the first one's mistakes, and second, the story is so forgettable and uninteresting that you don't need to know it to enjoy the second one. So there you have it, don't buy this game. Or decide that more research needs to be done, because I'm just one guy and you should consider multiple opinions before spending your money. Have a great day, mates.